healthcare is undergoing a lot of changes and is going to continue to undergo a lot of changes in the next few years. Obviously, healthcare reform is a huge piece of legislation, a lot of parts to it. Several of these parts have actually already been implemented. So the changes related to healthcare reform started as early as 2010, and they continue well into the future. And I think one of the things is that it's not just a lot of change for insurance companies, but it's change for each of us as people when we buy insurance. More people will be purchasing, making their own decisions on the exchange. We'll have employers who put private exchanges in and kind of create that same exchange-like shop market for their employee population. So people who are used to being told what their insurance is from their employer are going to have choices that they have to make. And trying to figure out what's the difference between all of these options and which one is best for me is hard work. I think employers are going to take several different positions in terms of the choice that they give their employees. Some people are going to want to provide a lot of advice because they have a more paternalistic approach to their employees. They want to make sure people make a good choice. Other employers are going to be offering this choice as a way to kind of wash their hands of the whole process and they aren't going to be necessarily as concerned about providing information because they don't want the responsibility of helping somebody make a decision that may not turn out the best in the end. So health plans are going to be in a position of needing to provide information in a way that makes sense to consumers so they can make good choices. Well, all of us as consumers, when we're making a big purchase, like picking our health insurance, hope that we make the right choice. And because when you're making a health insurance choice, you don't know what's going to happen for you in the next year. You don't know if you're going to have a condition, if you're going to break your leg, if you're going to get pregnant and have a baby. Lots of things can happen in a year. So you're facing a lot of unknowns. So it's hard to make a good choice. And then healthcare is a very complicated purchase. So that also makes it a hard decision. Actuaries can add a lot of value to employers who are trying to make big decisions about health care. So first, as they look at their historical experience, actuaries can help them understand what's a fluke and what's a pattern. What might it repeat next year and what is just the random stuff that happens in any plan in any given year. So actuaries can bring a lot of perspective to that. They also can help them understand what the cost of making benefit changes would be. So for their population, what's likely to happen. And then they can also talk about it from the member perspective in terms of the cost shifting and what the impact could be on their employee population and the families involved. I think actuaries have a great role to play within their own insurance companies as well. They are great analysts. They know, understand risk. They understand the many sources of risk. But they can take it up a level and say, okay, given all of that analysis, how do we need to impact decisions that we're making? and hopefully evaluate the business wins as well as the risks that are being taken to understand which of those risks are really an opportunity that should be you know, run after instead of run from. I think there really is a role for actuaries outside the insurance industry. It's a little bit harder to understand because people are so used to thinking about actuaries with mortality and morbidity. But then analytical skills and understanding risks does apply to other industries, especially other financial industries. But there's lots of business risks and actuaries are trained to look at those and to incorporate the impact of those into business decisions. And I think that actually does apply in many other industries.